What if I told you the biggest threat to Tesla isn't coming from Detroit, Germany, or Japan, but from China? And this company has become so powerful that even Elon Musk, who once mocked it, has no choice but to take it seriously now. BYD, once just a battery maker, is now the world's top EV seller, surpassing Tesla and shaking up the auto industry. I mean, BYD is so much ahead of Tesla in China, it's like a... It's just, it's almost ridiculous. But how did it rise so fast? This is the untold story of BYD's ruthless strategy, the Chinese government's ambitious plan, and the controversy behind its success. Subscribe for the latest Chinese tech and business trends. So, what is BYD? BYD, short for Build Your Dreams, started in 1995, not as a car company, but as a battery manufacturer, supplying giants like Nokia and Motorola. The founder Wang Chuanfu funded BED with an initial investment of approximately $300,000 borrowed from relatives and started with a small factory employing just 20 people outside Shenzhen. Under his leadership, BYD received a $230 million investment from Warren Buffett. But here's the twist. Buffett never even met Wang Chuan Fu before making the deal. A decision made halfway across the world without a handshake, driven purely by faith in Wang's vision and the future of Chinese EVs. Fast forward to today, BYD has grown into the world's biggest EV maker, even surpassing Tesla in global sales. Buffett's investment, it skyrocketed over 30 times in value at its peak. In 2023 alone, BYD produced 3 million EVs and plug-in hybrids, far outpacing Tesla's 1.84 million. It now dominates China, the world's largest EV market, with a 40% share of the market. But success hasn't come without controversy. For years, BYD was dismissed as a copycat, a company that reverse-engineered Japanese and Western cars instead of innovating. And to be fair, in its early days, that wasn't entirely wrong. Back in the 2000s, BYD was known for producing suspiciously familiar-looking cars. The BYD F3 looked like a Toyota Corolla, but was half the price. The F6 had strong similarities to the Honda Accord. The F0 question mark, a near copy of the Toyota IQ. This led to accusations that BYD was simply reverse engineering existing cars. In fact, U.S. officials even warned that BED's designs might be violating intellectual property rules. But Wang Chuan Fu, BYD's founder, had a different perspective. He openly admitted that BYD was using non-patented technologies from competitors, which he considered fair game. Instead of reinventing the wheel, BYD focused on making cars cheaper and more efficient, a strategy that worked brilliantly in price-sensitive markets like China. By the mid-2000s teens, BYD realized something. Copying Toyota and Honda wasn't enough to compete globally, so it shifted its focus to what it knew best, batteries and EV technology. In 2010, it launched the E6, one of the first mass-produced electric cars. In 2015, it introduced the Tang, a plug-in hybrid SUV that crushed sales records in China. By 2020, it stopped making gasoline-only cars entirely, something Toyota, Honda, and Ford still haven't done. Instead of just copying, BYD started innovating faster than legacy automakers could react. And this is where the tables turn. Today, BYD has overtaken many of the companies it once copied. For decades, Toyota and Honda dominated the global car market with their gasoline and hybrid cars. But while BYD was racing ahead with EVs, Toyota and Honda were hesitating, focusing on hybrids instead of full electrics. Toyota still believes hybrids are the future, while BYD is already producing millions of pure EVs. Honda's first real EV effort came years after BYD had already built an empire. BYD is now selling more EVs than Toyota, Honda, and Nissan combined. 
And it's not just the Japanese automakers feeling the heat. Europe's biggest car company is struggling to keep up too. Volkswagen has spent billions trying to transition from gasoline to electric. But it's struggling to match BYD's low prices. While BYD Seagull costs $10,000, Volkswagen's cheapest EVs still cost three times more. In 2023, BYD sold more electric cars in China than Volkswagen sold in total. VW's CEO even admitted that Chinese car makers like BYD are years ahead in EV technology. Elon Musk once laughed at BYD, saying it wasn't a serious competitor. Today, BYD has officially overtaken Tesla in global EV sales, while Tesla focused on high-end models. BYD flooded the market with affordable EVs. BYD's battery advantage means it can make cheaper, longer-lasting cars than Tesla. Tesla still leads in software and self-driving, but BYD is expanding faster and hitting new markets. Even crazier, Tesla now buys batteries from BYD. Just a few years ago, that would have been unthinkable. BYD has gone from copycat to category leader in less than 20 years. If Toyota, VW, and Honda don't catch up soon, they might be the ones struggling to survive. Then you might be wondering, what's the real secret behind BYD's success? While Tesla has built its empire through private innovation, BYD has had a powerful ally, the Chinese government, which has pumped over $30 billion into the EV industry since 2010, with another $97 billion planned by 2027. It's an unprecedented level of support, offering tax breaks, cheap loans, and subsidies that have turbocharged BYD's growth. It's no coincidence that while Tesla has had to slash prices to compete, BYD has been profitable and expanding rapidly. While Tesla started with high-end vehicles and worked its way down, BYD flipped the script. Its Seagull EV starts at just $10,000, making it one of the cheapest EVs in the world. Compare that to Tesla's $45,000 average price tag. BYD now sells 10 EV models, cheaper than Tesla's lowest-priced Model 3 a pricing strategy that has helped it dominate, not just in China, but in markets like Thailand, Brazil, and Australia. The other secret, their game-changing battery breakthrough. Unlike most automakers, it makes its own batteries. In fact, 75% of the parts in BYD cars are made in-house, compared to Tesla's 68% and Volkswagen's 35%. BYD's blade battery, a lithium iron phosphate LFP design, is cheaper, safer, mark longer lasting than other traditional EV batteries. Manufacturers, Tesla even buys BYD batteries for its vehicles, a surprising twist in the EV rivalry. So is BYD competing fairly? A major criticism of BYD is that it isn't winning just because it's better but because the Chinese government is heavily subsidizing it. This has sparked concerns among legacy automakers in Europe and the US, who argue that such support creates unfair competition and governments are taking notice. The EU launched an investigation into Chinese EV subsidies in 2023, warning that Chinese automakers like BED may be dumping cars at artificially low prices. The US already has a 25% tariff on Chinese-made EVs, but some lawmakers want to increase it even further. If BYD is truly being artificially supported, does this mean Western automakers are doomed unless their governments step in too? Beyond economics, some critics claim that BYD's rise isn't just about business. It's part of a larger geopolitical strategy by China. This is where the debate gets heated. If the EU and US crack down on Chinese EVS, could China fight back? China is already the world's biggest car exporter, even larger than Japan and Germany. If Western countries block BYD, China could retaliate in other industries. China controls over 70% of the world's battery material supply chain. If it limits lithium or nickel exports, 
that could cripple Tesla, Volkswagen, and Ford's EV production. Also, Western car brands like BMW, Mercedes, and Tesla make billions in China. If China raises tariffs or bans imports, it could devastate these brands overnight. The world has already seen how trade wars with China can spiral out of control. If Western governments push too hard against BYD, could they trigger an all-out economic war? First, the tariff war governments worldwide are pushing back against BYD's rise by enforcing high tariffs and import duties, making expansion more difficult. BYD's workaround? Build factories outside China to avoid these tariffs. That's why it's investing in a Hungarian plant for Europe and a Mexican plant for North America. If those succeed, it could sidestep trade restrictions and flood the global market with cheap EVs. Second, the price war BED has gained massive market share by offering EVs at unbeatable prices. But there's a downside. Profit margins in China's EV market are razor thin. Tesla and other Chinese EV makers have been cutting prices to stay competitive, leading to a brutal price war. Some automakers are already losing money to keep up with BAD's pricing strategy. The question is, how long can BED sustain this before it starts feeling the pressure? If global markets don't open up fast enough, BYD could face serious financial strain. And finally, the brand challenge. Despite its success, BYD still struggles with global brand recognition. Many buyers in Europe and the U.S. associate Chinese cars with lower quality even though BYD's tech is world-class. It lacks the prestige of Tesla, Mercedes, or BMW, which could slow its growth in premium markets. BYD is already investing in high-end sub-brands like Yangwan and Denza to compete with Tesla and Porsche. But building brand trust takes time. So will BYD take over the world? BYD is racing to become the world's top automaker, but will foreign governments slow it down or will consumers fuel its rise? Like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more deep dives into China's future in technology and business.